All right, so another component on the 6.06 quiz is the relationship between moles and volume. All right, so last one we just talked about moles and mass. Now we're gonna talk about moles and volume and put it all together. So you will know you got this if you can tell many how many moles, grams, and liters 1.204 times 10 to the 24th molecules of carbon dioxide is. So, in comparison to moles and mass, this is a lot simpler, all right? A mole of a gaseous compound will always take up 22.4 liters of space, all right? This is true for this class because every question you are given will be at standard temperature and pressure, all right? Just note that this is technically only true at one set of temperature and pressure. So you do want to know what standard temperature and pressure is, right? So standard temperature and pressure is zero degrees Celsius in one atmosphere. So if you see a question throwing those numbers in there, that's just its way of telling you, oh yeah, I'm at standard temperature and pressure, so I can use 22.4, all right? Something, you know, you take chemistry in college or something like that, you're probably going to deal with situations outside of this. But for this class, everything will be at standard temperature and pressure. Just make sure you know what the standard temperature and pressure are. So, you remember this from last time. All right, we've got our mole island. If we are going onto Mole Island, we divide by the number. If we are going off of Mole Island, we multiply by the number. And the when dealing with volume, the number in green right there is 22.4. Alright. Also got your handy dandy little cheat sheet there. So let's try some problems. Alright, remember, everything you have will either tell you you're at STP or you can assume you are at STP. All right, so we have 6.5 moles of a gas. How many liters is this? So we are, for this first one, we are starting at moles, and we are going to volume, because liters is volume. So that means we are going to take this 6.5, all right, and we are going to multiply by 22.4. And I get... 145.6 liters. All right. Oh, I can't delete it now. Um, this next one is I've got 45 liters of gaseous water. How, sorry, that should say how many moles do I have? All right, so that means I'm starting in volume, and I'm going to go towards moles. So I'm going to divide by the 22.4. So 45 liters divided by 22.4 is 2.0 moles. All right, so if you, if you know how to use mole island, that's going to make a lot of this unit very simple. If understanding how to use Mole Island is a struggle for you, make contact with me. We'll work it out. It's just this is this is a trick for you to use so that you don't have to memorize what you're supposed to do in all of these different situations because you're never going to see the exact same situation I give you here. So the, the best way to get through this is to figure out how to use Mole Island. So here are some more examples. I've got Mole Island up at the top. All right, I will do a few, but you can use this as an opportunity to practice a bunch of things. Um, first thing is make sure you understand what the question is asking you for. So this top half is how many moles in, say, 96 liters, All right? Moles in 96 liters. So that means you are starting in liters and you are going to moles, all right? So we are starting in liters and going to moles. So that's going to be division. All right. The other set is how many liters in however many moles. So that means we're going from moles to liters. So that's going to go the other direction. 
So here you're going to be multiplying. All right, once you're able to figure out just what you're supposed to do, this becomes pretty basic just math. All right, so, you know, like this first one, how many moles in 96 liters? I'm going to do 96 divided by 22.4, which is... Oh, apparently that is four on the dot. No, it's not. Four point two nine moles. All right. So here, twenty four divided by twenty two point four is one point oh seven one four. I don't know why I wrote so many decimals this time, but you know, odds are you're going to have a multiple choice question that will have one or two decimal points. Um, I'll do one more. 65 divided by 22.4 is equal to 2.9. All right. The other set down here to figure out liters, I'm going to take 3.5 times 22.4. Which is 78.4 liters. All right. Um, 8.1 times 22.4. All right. So in comparison to converting between moles of mass, this is definitely a lot easier. Should get you a 181.44 and so forth. All right. Um, sometimes you will run into questions like this one that actually doesn't go directly to moles. At least at first it might appear that way. So if you have 35 grams of oxygen, how many liters of oxygen do you have? So reading through this question, where are we starting? You have 35 grams. All right, so you're starting in mass. And then the question is asking you how many liters? All right, so you are going to volume. So looking at our mole island, is there a direct connection between mass and volume? No. So what this becomes is a two-step problem. All right, you are going to go from mass to moles, and then from moles to volume. It's the only way you can get there. So you're going to first convert from mass to moles, and then those moles you can convert into volume. All right. So step one, mass to moles. You need to know your molar mass of oxygen. All right. And that's going to be 16 plus 16 because... Oxygen on the periodic table rounds up to 16, and there's two of them, so we have 32. And then I'm going to take my starting mass, the 35 grams, and I'm going to divide by the molar mass, which is 32. I get 1.09 moles. All right. Step two is moles to volume. All right, so I'm going to take that 1.09 moles, and I'm going to multiply by 22.4, and I'm going to get 24.5 liters. Okay? So even if you don't see moles in there, you still might end up having to deal with moles. Because that's the one thing where moles are, we know we have 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd of everything. I apologize. So, now the big question. Can you tell me how much you have for all of these? Alright. 
the trick to something like this, these are kind of multi-step ones too, is to get yourself to moles. So 1.204 times 10 to the 24th, if you are using your cheat sheet of the numbers, that is 2 moles. All right. From here, we can go to mass and we can go to volume. All right, so you can do 2 times 22.4 to get 44.8 liters. Or, let's see, carbon dioxide is CO2. So we need 12 plus 16 plus 16, because that's carbon, oxygen, oxygen. And that's going to be 32.44 grams per mole. So 2 times 44 equal to 88 grams.